Okay, it's been a while since I did a video. I've got a car right there on the trailer that needs to come off, but it has a starter issue, and that is a 97 Toyota Corolla. Yeah, pretty decent car, but she won't start, so let me go show you what she's doing. So your key's in your ignition, and you go to start it, and it just click, click, clicks. Yeah, that ain't no good. So we're just gonna leave that key in the ignition on the on. Because I basically already know the starter's good, but she needs a rebuild kit. The plunger and the the uh, contacts are uh, the shot. This thing still works. It just needs those new parts. But we don't have those parts right now. They will be on their way. But we need to get this started because it's got an oil leak, and I need to figure out where that is. So, plus this thing really needs to get off the trailer. So I devised a very I say don't do it because you could probably you might tear up your starter, you might tear up your flywheel. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here, but I gotta get this thing off the trailer. Plus, I need to diagnose where the oil leak is, and I got things going on, and this thing doesn't really need to be on my trailer. So let me show you what I've done. I've got in here on the driver's side kick panel, and this is the relay for the starter. I've got a jumper wire up there that's hooked to the jumper cables because. I can't find a long enough uh, jumper wire to do this, but this cable comes out and it comes up here onto my power probe. And now you can hear it. She just clicks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take another jumper wire from the battery and down to the starter. And that will allow this thing to turn over. Like I said, the plunger and the contacts, they're no good. So I'm going to set up and uh, we'll get this thing started. There you go, finally success. I'll keep this thing running for a little while and uh, we'll get this thing off the trailer and we'll look at it a little more here in a little bit. Okay, there she is, she's in the garage, all right. Now, we had to pack them in here tight in the garage because, you know, I want the room right up here in the front, over here to the side, because all the work will be done right here. Now we can not have to worry about weather, and we can get this job done a little bit quicker at being inside than outside, so. I don't know, but that's all that I have for right now, but this video will continue in just about. Okay, well the other camera died, so now we're going to have to start using the GoPro 3. I don't know if it's died or what the heck's gone wrong with it, but I don't know. But we're back, we got the parts for this starter, and now I'm going to kind of go through and explain what we're going to be doing and how I went about getting that car started. So here we go. Here is the starter. Here is where the positive lead of the battery is, and this is the S terminal that tells it, hey, start. So basically what happens is, is when I was sending the signal through with my um, power probe, it was telling the starter to engage. So the starter would engage, but it would not churn. So basically what's happening is, as the power lead goes down and engages, it takes power, sends it across over to here, and then tells the motor to churn too. It all happens simultaneously and it will start. So basically, here's my parts. These, um, this is the plunger and this right here are the connectors and the connectors are basically just shot and worn out. So that's what we're going to be replacing today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three screws out. I'll pop open a little bit and we take our cover off. Well, here is the plunger with the spring. We'll reuse the spring. And then you can see, hopefully you can see, 
I don't know if you can or not, but those connectors are worn out and shot. So there's our new connectors. So yeah, we'll get in there and we'll get this thing fixed up. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up this end. This is kind of fun trying to do one-handed. Trying to film at the same time. Get this connector. Pull that off. And now we'll pull this through. Voila. Stuff's a little worn out. Get that stuff off. And now Yep, we'll have to uh, tap that out with something. Tap it out. And voila, there's that. And we'll take that back through. And there we go. And we'll slide that all back together. One contact is already replaced. So we'll do the same thing over here. You know, just unbolt it and uh, take it off. So now we'll take our our new plunger right here put the spring on the end of it like so and just slip it back down in there now when she plunges down she should make contact and then voila starter should work again just to show you on these contacts i don't know if you can tell right there but they are pretty worn out so basically this thing was plunging down and that's about all it could do so We'll put the three screws back in and we'll reinstall it and then we got a good starter again. So there you go. That's uh, how we repair this starter and get her back on the road. Okay, so now that starter's repaired, it didn't even cost 15 bucks. That's a lot better than going out and having to spend another 100 bucks to get a new starter. So it was quite easy. All you had to do was basically unbolt everything. Just watch on that other terminal I didn't show you on. There is one wire. Be careful when you pull that thing out. You don't want to break that wire off. And then you will be going probably spending $100 for a new starter. So I don't know. But I'm going to get this starter on. Then I'll show you that it works. And uh, well, I'll show you it works before I put it on the car. And then we will show you it working in the car. So there you go. Okay, so I got my trusty Dodge here. Got jumper cables hooked up to this C. Notice that it's not working. And I've got a jumper wire here. And all I'm going to do is touch this side of this S terminal. And then it will engage and roll the starter. So here we go. See? Back working once again. Okay, so this car is basically done. It's put back together. We replaced a rear main seal, which it was kind of. I don't know if you can see that, but it was kind of popped out like that. The lighting kind of sucks in here right now, but you know, it is what it is. But there is the seal, pain in the butt to get to, easy to replace, blah, blah, blah. But now let's start her up and uh, show you that she's working. One thing that might help is if I put the starter relay back in, oops. well done so I'll say it one more time comment rate subscribe check me out on Facebook and the video is what it is later on